everybody. Brad Nessler here, and with me as always, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. The early season continues, and we're here ready to bring you what appears to be another fantastic college gridiron matchup. And here come the Hokies. The Hokies should have their way with this team. Herbie, why don't you tell us about their star? Virginia Tech has one of the best linebackers in the nation, and he can do it all. Whether it's stuffing the run or playing the pass in coverage, he'll be all over the place today and lead his team to victory, Coach. Hey, everybody's picking him, so I will too. I'm picking Virginia Tech. Go Hokies! Yo, what's good, you two? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the Morgan State Dynasty here on NCAA 11. And in the first two games, it wasn't pretty. I mean, we only have three total points scored this season, and you can just see this is just not the start that we were looking for. Towson and Alabama A&M both got their first victories in FBS play, so they are one in one this season. But looking at Virginia Tech, this is not going to be easy at all. They are a top 25 team, and we will be on the road on national TV as well. Now, they do have a couple of good guys, Jackson and then Edwin Doucette, who's going to be a pretty good uh, receiver for them. But then on defense, they haven't had too many good uh, players so far, at least stand out for them, but we do. Avondre Pike actually has two sacks in two games, and then Dennis Lee had that three-sack game in the opener. So we will be looking forward to playing some good defense. I think we've had good luck playing defense early on in games, and then Chambers had two interceptions as well. But going into this game, we have our first suspension Scott Giffen our star middle linebacker will be su suspended for three games due to violating team rules so we will be without him on the road here as we play Virginia Tech as we kick it away and we do get started here on defense but look at Cook he breaks away breaks a tackle and he will be off to the races for the opening drive touchdown and he will return the kick and their offense won't even have to touch the field. And now they take the touchdown lead. I mean, when it rains, it pours here for Morgan State. We're already off to a terrible start as the first play is a handoff. And it's a fumble. And Bobo Christopher coughs it up. And Virginia Tech falls on it. And to add insult to injury, Wendell Caesar goes down. And he is hurt. But they do go to replay this one. And I can't really tell from this angle, but it looks like his knee was down and the refs agree. And we do retain possession, but out comes Carmelo Neely, the true freshman quarterback. His first pass out to the right side and it's gonna be incomplete. Virginia Tech sent the house. And it looks like Wendell Caesar is gonna have a sprained elbow. He will be out for two quarters. So Neely will at least play the first half, the first throw. Another throw on the left side. That's caught by John Henderson, the slot receiver for us. He picks up a first down. It's a nice throw. So Neely throws out to the right side. He gets hit on the throw, and he had Blake Childress open, and he will miss that one as that brings it to a third and ten. This time, Neely drops back to pass, throws across the middle. It's almost caught off of the deflection, but it's going to be incomplete. So now out comes Jackson in this dangerous Virginia Tech offense. They can run the ball really, really well and efficiently. The first pass out to the middle of the field. It's intercepted. And that's Kavon Wallace, the running back. He gets in on defense, taking over for Scott Giffen. And we do have to have some Iron Man players on this team. Guys that will play both sides of the ball. And look at this. We're set up past the 50. This is the best field position we started with. But the first pass out to the left side is picked off by Miles. So as soon as we get a good play, we give it right back. And Virginia Tech is right back on the field. So here comes Jackson this time under center. You got to think they're going to run the ball heavy in this game. Whaley, look at this speed burst up the middle of the field. He does get around one defender and picks up about a gain of 20 yards. So now from the 38-yard line, they run the speed option. Jackson fights up the middle, and he somehow pitches it over to Whaley. I don't know how he saw him on that one. And it's a first down gain of 12 yards. 
So here is Jackson this time, under center this time. He's gonna throw it to left side. He's got his man on the sideline and it is knocked away. And that's a nice play by Chambers, Jesse Chambers, who remember had two interceptions last game. Handoff, Whaley up the middle, who fights forward and he will fall for about nine yards. And he, they do eventually pick up the first down as they get it to the 15. Jackson under center this time. He has all day to throw. He throws across the middle, finding Doucette, who does fall in for the touchdown. Bobby Ellington cannot keep him out. And now they take the seven, the 13 nothing lead here. And now here comes Morgan State back on offense. Play action fake to start out. And Virginia Tech sends the blitz and there's gonna be a flag on the play. Holding, but they're gonna decline that one and take the sack. So that makes it a second and 19 on this play. We come out with two wide receivers to the left side and a tight end, throw deep. And it's gonna be picked off. We had one-on-one -on -one coverage. We thought we could maybe get a 50-50 ball, but it's gonna be intercepted. Intended for Blake Childress Jr. And now Virginia Tech takes back over on offense. And let's see if we can come up with a stop because Virginia Tech looks like they have some momentum in this game. Here's a pitch out to the left side. It's Neely who fights forward and somehow gets out of that tackle in the backfield and picks up a gain of eight yards is now that eventually brings us to a third and four as we start the second quarter. Handoff, Whaley makes a man miss in the hole and picks up the first down as Marshall makes the tackle. But now they get it to the 16 yard line for a first and 10. We send the blitz, throw and it's almost picked off by Jesse Chambers. I don't know how he did not have that one. That was a lucky pass, Jackson can be turnover thrown when he does throw the ball, turnover prone. And now he runs the read option to the left side. He breaks a tackle and fights in. He's a touchdown machine. And wow, he gets in once again. And now they have the three score lead here in the first half. And this is not what we wanted. We knew if we could keep their team off of the field, that would be our best chance. But it seems like we can't even do that because we can't even complete any passes. Throw deep down the right side, and it is going to be incomplete. Neely, he's got to make these throws. I mean, these are not very easy throws. These are throws you got to make. I mean, come on now. We got to convert. So now third down, throw across the middle, and it almost is going to be picked off. He did not lead his receiver enough across the middle, and it ends up being a punt here as now Jackson comes back out onto the field running the triple option. And this time he gets stacked, sacked in the backfield by Avondre Pike. And that eventually brings us to a third and eight. This time Jackson scrambles up the middle. He's got speed and dives forward, but he can't get to the first down marker. Nice stop here from our defense. So they do punt the ball away to our team. But look at this. It's gonna be a muffed punt as it does deflect off of our team. Take another look. I don't know who that is in the middle of that scrum. It looks like Jesse Chambers was there. And wow, Marshall was there as well. And now they take back over. It just seems like it, what can go wrong will go wrong for this Morgan State team. Here's Jackson scrambling up the middle and he will get tackled. But inside the five yard line is take a look. Matthew Pearson, who was taking over for Griffin, the safety that is, has been hurt for the last couple weeks now. He's gonna be out for at least two more weeks. He is hurt. And look at Whaley getting into the end zone. And now 27 to nothing is now we have the ball back on an offense. I mean, let's just get three points on the board. I will be happy with three points. Handoff, Bobo Christopher gets lit up. And now second and long, under center this time. Play action fake this time. We're gonna air it out. Blake Childress has a chance, but he can't hold on to it on the sideline. He drops that one. And now third and 11. You gotta help out your quarterback as Neely comes out under center. He's gonna try to throw it to left side and it is gonna be overthrown. Not sure if that would have been caught anyway, but that's how this one goes into halftime. 27 to nothing. So here we go to start the second half. We have literally 13 total yards of offense. This is just sad here on the road. But what do you expect versus a top 25 school versus the worst school in the FBS? And here is a sack right away to start the second half. And Virginia Tech is just pouring it on us. 
is now third and 20. Wendell Caesar back in the game under center. He's going to throw. He gets hit. And it is going to be just thrown into the ground. And that's a fourth and long. We're not going for that. We're just going to punt it away. And here comes Virginia Tech back out onto the field. They're going to hand it off. Whaley up the middle. And he is going to get a nice gain of about nine yards on that one. They're running the ball really, really well. And that seems to be the formula for them. Another handoff. Whaley up the middle. And he fights forward for about a gain of four. And a first down here as they continue to move the chains here. Second and five under center. Whaley, another carry. He makes it move up the middle, and he gets tackled at about the 20, 15-yard line, that is. And now first and 10. Three minutes left here in the third quarter. Line up under center. Play action fake. This time Jackson throws left side. He's got Deuce set at about the three-yard line. He comes back and gets it. And take a look. Blake Childress was in on defense because our defense was so gassed, and he gets hurt playing defense can you believe it so now inside the five yard line first and goal Jackson barking out a play he's gonna hand it off to Ferguson who just makes one of our man look silly and it's a touchdown and now it is just not even funny at this point Virginia Tech 34 to nothing so here we go back out on offense play action fake Caesar throws wide open and it is just gonna be off I mean, no throws can be made by our offense. I don't know what it is, but Wendell Caesar, Carmelo Neely, neither of them can make any throws. As here is Caesar this time, throw. He just throws it up for grabs. It is going to be deflected there on a third down pass. Fourth down, let's see what the coach will do. He will just punt it away. As now we move into the fourth quarter, let's see if we can make at least one stop towards the end of the game. Here is Rodgers in the game, the backup quarterback. He's going to take it himself to left side and fight forward to about the inch yard line. As now here they are set up for a first and goal. Handing it right back to Cook, the fullback. It's a touchdown, and they take a huge lead in this one, 41 to nothing. As we put Carmelo Neely, the freshman, back into the game, let's just get him some reps here at the end of this game. Neely throws across the middle. And that was to nobody. Incomplete. Two of 13. I mean, it's got to get better from here, right? I mean, maybe we do have to switch up this offense. I don't know what it is. Neely sacked on the next play. And it's going to be a holding on the offense. No choice if you got all these top defenders running past you. And it just seems like they're setting the house on every single play. Once again, unblocked. Carmelo Neely goes down. And that one is just going to be the end of the game. I'm not even going to go for it on fourth down. It makes no sense. We take the big sack, and Virginia takes care of business at home. Virginia Tech, that is. Doucette has a big game. And you can just see, he's like, man, I don't know what you're thinking going to this school. You guys suck. And, I mean, this was just bad from start to finish. Wendell Caesar gets hurt in the first quarter. Carmelo Neely could not fill in at all. I mean, this was just a bad overall game i don't know what we really expected though because we're just clearly outmatched in this game and it just was not fun at all in this one we just could not do anything as let's just see how we will do for the remainder of the season we're definitely going to be switching some stuff up with the playbook so you don't want to miss anything hit subscribe hit that like button stay tuned let's get it let's go i'll be trying to do me but they be trying to copy though only problem with that is they not me though people act cool but really they be shifty though they say they got your back but they ain't even behind me though i be low-key but police be trying to find me though